Hi, my name is Monica Jenkins, and I had the mass P lift um, surgery done um, October 12th. And I can't believe I've let the time go by so fast, but it's now October 30th, and it's my birthday. And I'm about two and a half weeks post surgery, and um, I'm pretty surprised at how well I've done. Um, I was going in so scared that, you know, signing on the dotted line that I accept that I might never walk after the surgery, that, you know, maybe I won't have kids or um, all kinds of things were crossing my mind and just scaring me half to death to not even want to do it. But at the same time, I had this throbbing pain in my back that was just like telling me, you have to do something now, otherwise you're going to be miserable for the next like 50 years of your life. And I just like, I couldn't let that be. So I went through with the surgery and uh, at first it was uh, hard. You know, I was like the first week walking with a walker and uh, very slow and I live upstairs. So I had to, you know, go up the stairs immediately, which probably in the long run was better for me because it helps me to be stronger and get going quicker, I guess. Um, it's been a pretty surprising journey. I have, unfortunately, these meds drive me crazy. Uh, my sleep schedule is like the worst thing. Uh, after I take them, it feels good for like an hour, and then afterwards I start itching. So I'm not a big fan of uh, these pills they give me. So unfortunately, the, the only relief I get also has these crazy side effects, of course. So I try not to take them as much, um, but I have been able to now, it's been two and a half weeks, at two weeks I was able to get released to drive. So that's been a huge blessing because uh, my family went out of town after the first week, so um, it was a little difficult that second week. But um, I'm glad I can drive now. Um, today I went to a few Halloween festivals with my daughter and that you know, I was prepared that I wouldn't be able to get out of the house and walk. So I'm just so thankful that I got to go out and do those things. And, you know, even post -sur pre-surgery, I don't think I could have done it because it just hurt so much just to go. And um, my back was just throbbing. So now it just feels like a bruise, like it's a tolerable bruise. And the biggest pain that I have is actually in my legs. Unfortunately, when they open me up and they touch the nerves and the sciatica and everything, it like pff, triggered my nerves to go crazy. So um, I have a lot of numbness and tingling in my right leg. A lot of my toes, I can't really feel. They feel like all tingly and weird. And uh, so I was really worried about that, but at the two-week follow-up, uh, they said that's normal because they've touched the nerve and it's just going crazy until it relaxes and heals. So I have to just wait it out. And uh, so then my flexibility is just like, oh my gosh, it's gone. It's, I can't even straighten my leg all the way anymore. I used to be able to go down, uh, you know, to touch my toes to the, to the ground. Um, I can't even straighten my leg right now and uh, I think it's just because I can't bend I'm having to squat to do everything but I think that again is going to make my thighs and legs stronger for the long run so it'll work out um, everything has a silver lining for sure so it's a little hard um, but in the long run it's going to be so much better like six months from now so I'm just thankful that I had to get it that I got to get it done and that it went so well and that I had such a great surgeon so I hope that if you're considering this or if you're dealing with back pain that you look into the best options for you and don't let the outcome scare you because the other side may be a lot greener and of course the path of growing is difficult but it is going to be better on the flip side. So I hope that uh, you enjoy hearing my testimony and um, I'll try to make more soon. Thank you very much for your time. Have a blessed day wherever you may be. Thank you. Bye.